RB Leipzig and PSG United in Istanbul. It's a group that United have no chance of qualifying from. And it's a group where United have six points after two games. A 2-1 win away at PSG. A fantastic second result in PSG that we've turned around. And not only did we beat Leipzig at home, not by one, two, three, or even four, five nil. United against Leipzig, against Nagelsmann, a manager who so many believe that could be the successor of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, whenever that happens, beaten. One, look, when you get past 3-0, you have to accept that it's an absolute pumping. And United pumped Leipzig tonight. Marcus Rashford, MBE, the man who is single-handedly taking on the Tory government of the UK and making them look silly, has done that one week and the next week gone and scored a hat-trick against Leipzig. Mason Greenwood scoring such a Van Persie finish buttery smooth into the corner to make it one. Personally, I thought that was offside. But what do I know, eh? VAR said it was onside. And United in that game, Martial there scoring as well, but Rashford with a hat-trick. But United against Leipzig. Let's be honest. So many of us went into that game today and we were worried. We were worried about it because we thought that Leipzig were just going to play us off the park no matter what formation that Solskjaer put out, it was going to be bad and that United were just going to get pumped. What have you just watched? It's very surprising, let's be honest. I didn't expect it, but what a performance. And in a game week, United rested Bruno Fernandes. We can go and do that. And Donny van der Beek got his first start. United were control. Look, I said this in a separate video, and I'll say it again now, with absolute evidence to support my argument. We've just beaten Leipzig 5-0. Leipzig are not a terrible team. They're not a shit team by any stretch of the imagination. We haven't just beaten them. We dismantled them. 5-0 is a dismantling of a team. And we've just done that at Old Trafford. And relatively calmly. Defensively, we're very solid. Still, we're not very good at passing out from the back with the ball. But that's going to be a weakness that exists in this team until we have better players in those positions. Simple as that. But to have turned that performance into a 5-0 win, that is clinical. And that is how I would describe United's performance there against Leipzig. Clinical. It's not as if we had, no, clearly we had more chances than them, but when we had our chances, we put them away. Greenwood sweeping it into the corner. Rashford, every one of his finishes, the majority of them just beautifully cultured. It's not really what I expect from Rashford in that sense, and it's not really what I've grown to expect from United, but it was beautiful. It really was beautiful. As you can see, I've decided to catch the sun out here in Ghana, but that's because I'm a white man and I'm out in the African sun. So apologies for that, but I'm not going to apologise for the game I've just watched there tonight. I did not expect United to beat Leipzig 5-0. I expected United... Look, United set up in that 4-1-2-1-2 formation, the midfield diamond, with Matic sitting at the bottom, with Fred and Popper in front of them, with Donny, ba Donny van der Beek sorry, in front of him, and a front two. That gets the best out of United in every single scenario. Midfield is our strength. Let's only have one defensive midfielder. And that, for me, is why I wanted us to sign a world-class defensive midfielder. Someone like even Thomas Partey would have made a massive difference to this squad just to play that role on his own. So, therefore, he lets Fred and Popper in front of him and van der Beek or Fernandes further in the game in front of them express themselves more. That's what... United benefited from tonight. Players in the right positions, doing their jobs in the right roles. But to go and turn that into a 5-0 win, that's a hell of a statement. And I think it's about time, I suppose, that a lot of people gave Ole Gunnar Solskjaer credit for what it's due. We've come up against Thomas Tuchel and PSG and Nagelsmann and RB Leipzig. And we've won 2-1 away and we've won 5-0 at home. Now, whether or not you want to call that 2-1 away a little smash and grab, it wasn't a smash and grab. You want to call it that, we scored late, it was a 2-1 win. But a 5-0 win at home is a dismantling. 
It's one team who has come to party and one team who has come for a quick nap. And Leipzig were never alive tonight. The most lively thing in the whole Leipzig team was Nagelsmann's suit on the side. I don't know what he was wearing. But United destroyed them. Marcus Rashford, man of the match. I really wanted to give it to Donny van der Beek because he got his start because Solskjaer was, a, was bold enough there. Again, I think Solskjaer has been bold in some of his starting 11s recently. We haven't always agreed with them. Certainly not against Newcastle. Certainly not against Chelsea. And the Chelsea performance sort of justified the questions about that starting 11. But you look at that starting 11 today there, we cannot question anything that Solskjaer did. Fernandez was not dropped, but he was rested so that Donny van der Beek could start. And van der Beek played okay. It's clear that those two are players who are quality, sorry, who have enough quality to just mirror each other when they come in and out of that starting 11. That's what you need. You need a strong starting 11 and a strong second 11 so you can switch and replace without changing how the team plays. But 5-0 against, against Leipzig. This was supposed to be the group of death. A, death. a group, sorry, that United have no chance of qualifying from. Instead, two games in, we've won away at PSG, three points. We've won at home against Leipzig, six points. It's a beautiful start to the Champions League. And that there is one of the most dominant performances you will have seen from United in a long, long time. I want to know who your man of the match is. For me, you can't look past Marcus Rashford. MBE and a hat-trick. Is there nothing this guy can't do? Keep it going, Marcus. You are an icon for everybody on and off the pitch. Incredible inspiration for us all. And Martial and Greenwood... Racking up the goals, Cavani coming on, getting a goal. Lovely finish, by the way, but it was offside. Bring on the next game, bring on everything. We're going to win the treble. We're not really, but to go from where we were with a 6-1 against Spurs to where we are now with a 2-1 away at PSG and a 5-0 win against Leipzig, that's a hell of a turnaround with the same squad of players that I personally don't think is good enough to challenge Liverpool and City. I'd love for United and Solskjaer to prove me wrong. And based on that performance, maybe I can be wrong. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But 5-0 against Leipzig. Happy days.